Hello, my name is Jason Whiting. I'm faculty in the Recreation Administration Department. I've been teaching this course, which is RA-130, which is International Tourism, Multicultural Issues and Impacts for the last two years. I'm extremely excited to have you in this course. This is one of my favorite courses. Um, I really enjoy and I'm very passionate about um, international tourism. Um, I spend as much time as I can abroad and traveling abroad. Um, I also have um, four children and I'm married and so that also kind of factors into that equation. Um, but I, I enjoy talking and, um, and discussing the topics that are pertaining to this course. Um, so I'm excited that you've registered for this course and that we get to explore some of these topics together. On that note, I have done and put a lot of time into structuring this particular online course in a way that I hope will kind of lend itself to um, becoming a very useful tool for you to lend itself to being a successful online learning community for you, for all of you to learn from one another, but also to be a successful environment in which you will um, not find confusing at all. And so that kind of leads us to the next step for the point, um, the point of this um, video clip is for me to kind of walk you through the uh, the syllabus and um, the Blackboard site and just kind of talk to you through the modules, talk you through the way the site is structured, and just kind of give you a brief overview of, um, of the organization of the site. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and go over that. All right. So one of the things that we have here in the Blackboard portion of the course is we have a lot, the way that it's structured is um, here are the announcements right at the top. So if you click on the announcements, any given day you can have um, some of the announcements. One of the things I have is I have a picture of the text right up here. You can see the text um, is becoming worldwide, a globe, um, a, a guide to global warming, uh, sorry, a guide to global learning. Um, this is very inexpensive text um, compared to a lot of your um, other textbooks. I would suggest getting a copy as soon as you can. I emailed you all um, several weeks ago um, in regards to this text, so you should already have a copy of the text. If you don't have it, I would suggest giving a copy and, um, and having it mailed, expressed to you so that you don't uh, start missing out on those points because those points um, via quizzes and discussion boards, those type of things will be accumulating on the first day. Um, another thing that I've put right here for the announcements is just kind of a snapshot of the tentative schedule. This is a very useful tool looking at, we essentially only have 10 days in this accelerated online course. So we have all the topics and activities that we're going to be talking about. Um, no school on the Monday for uh, New Year's Day, or pardon me, I don't I don't think it's a Monday, but no school on New Year's, but we have all the uh, the readings that are due out of the chapters, all the assignments that are due. We're going to get into these assignments here momentarily. And then the learning outcomes, which can be found in the syllabus. <coughs> the syllabus um, is the next thing. If you click here on the link, you can find the syllabus. I've already downloaded that um, just to make it a little bit faster here. Um, so we can see just going through the syllabus, um, I don't have office hours, but I do have a virtual office setting set up here. So if you click on this virtual office setting, um, you can leave a question for myself. This is just a Blackboard minister, administrator here, this Mary Bennett. So you can click on the office, uh, virtual office link, leave me a message, it'll get emailed to me, and I'll get back to you that same day. Um, Blackboard orientation, there's a lot of great information here um, with videos and a lot of other information there. Um, but going back to the syllabus, if we go and, at, and run through this, we have, this obviously meets GE requirements, that's why most of you are in it. Um, 
there's all the learning outcomes, how those learning outcomes will be met, how you're graded. You can run through this on your own. Okay, the point breakdown. This is where uh, the course goes. This is how you will be assessed. Um, personal, personal profile. Um, we'll go through this in, in the day one module. But the personal profile is worth 10 points. Um, the bulk of your grade, uh, or the, the vast majority, this um, 100 points is for the daily discussion boards, or these online participation. Every day for the course, you, are, you can earn up to 10 points for participating in the daily discussion with your peers. Um, and if you go down, you'll see the daily discussions right here. There's a whole section that I have each each of these places where you are getting assessed have I've detailed in extreme information okay so if you ever have questions about anything in the course just go to that section in the syllabus and there's a ton of lengthy description about that particular assignment or that particular area of assessment so refer back to the syllabus and most of your questions should be answered there um, so all the, the daily discussion um, sections should be right there. Um, basically, you, there will be a prompt in the daily discussion thread, and you will have to answer the original question. You'll need to reply back to that by 5 p.m., okay, the day of that original post. In addition to that, you will need to reply to two of your peers' Um, responses before 11:59 of the same day okay and we're looking for substance we're not saying oh yes I agree or yes I think so and because I had an experience where someone died um, we're looking for substantive materials or substantive thoughts um, especially that you can relate back to your readings and or PowerPoints or from mini lectures or those type of things um, and there's actually, you can look in the rubrics down here on the sidebar, and these rubrics and resources will show you kind of how you're to be graded. So if you look in these rubrics, you can see the rubrics for the online discussion boards and kind of see how you are going to be graded for these things. So um, take a look at those. All right. The next thing, if we go back to Blackboard, um, let's take a look at day one. Each day, I've broken the whole semester down into modules. And each day, you have a different module. So the day, each day, if you look at, for example, day one, you have activities and assignments. Each day starts out with this section of activities and assignments. Number one, if you just take this step by step, you'll be fine. Activities and assignments. The first step, complete your personal profile. So you go down, here's personal profile. So here's your instructions for personal profile. This is an actual blog assignment. So students in RA 130 typically come from a variety of assignments, blah, 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 blah. You can read these instructions. So you are to do these type of things. So I actually went ahead and did a personal profile so you guys can follow the example. So here is my personal profile. So I have uploaded a picture of myself and I have put in some information following these guidelines in the personal profile blog and then you guys then go ahead and follow these and then create your own thread and create your own blog entry and by the end of the first day we will have there's 23 people in the class we will have a series of blog entries 23 of them to be exact and so we can kind of create and build upon our own learning community so we can get to know each other by the end of the first day. And that will kind of help us all get to know each other. Okay, going back to the first day, the second thing is to review the PowerPoint for the first day. So if we scroll down, we have the, we actually have two PowerPoints. So the first one was to review the PowerPoint. And the third one was, I'll update this. this there should be two PowerPoints here. So I'll update this here in just a second. But we have course intro Jeopardy, and then we have intro to tours in PowerPoint. So like I said, I'll update this. Um, so you need to review both these PowerPoints, and then we also have a discussion board, and then, so here's the second PowerPoint. Okay, so we have the first, first PowerPoint here, and then the second PowerPoint here. Okay, so you need to review both these PowerPoints here. Anyway, so you just click on the PowerPoints, 
you'll download those, review them, go through them, and then go ahead and click on the discussion board. So the discussion board, you click on the discussion board and you will go ahead and um, create the thread and subscribe to the discussion boards. Day two is very similar. There's a mini lecture. You click on the mini lecture, you listen to the mini lecture, and you go ahead and run through the mini lecture. There's on this one, there's a actual clip. You'll listen to the clip uh, or watch the movie that's embedded from YouTube and listen to or participate into the discussion board. And this one, you'll actually take a quiz. Okay, so you'll run through all these different things. There's a foreign travel plan. The foreign travel plan, it's incredibly important that you use Google Apps at Fresno State. If you're not signed into Google Apps at Fresno State, then you cannot participate in this assignment. Okay, so Google Apps at Fresno State. You will actually, there's instructions here for creating and sharing Google Docs um, at Fresno State. So on all these things, there's in detailed instructions for participating in all of these assignments. So once again, see, it's asking me, it's telling me I need permission. So I will switch accounts because I'm not in the right account. So I will go here to my Google Apps at Fresno State. And I will go into my Google Drive. And this is actually not set up for me because I am not a student in the class. But if I were, it would tell me that I would need to do my preliminary report and my secondary report, okay? And so the idea here, if we go back to the syllabus, is that the reports for the class, the foreign travel plan is broken up into two separate reports, a preliminary report, so two different preliminary reports, okay? So this is like a first draft and a second draft. And out of these first and second drafts, you submit these using the Google or the discussion boards, okay, using Google Docs. They're linked to Google Docs during the from the discussion boards on Blackboard. And there's if you just follow these links on your groups, if you look on Blackboard, if you just follow the day four or whatever days they're linked to, just follow these modules, follow the links in the modules and upload your things from there, they will take you exactly where you need to go. Just The key is just follow the modules, follow the modules, follow the modules, and follow the links in the modules, you'll be okay. Um, within those things, you'll do peer review assignments, okay? And so you'll be in groups, and these groups, you'll all be placed into groups of two or three peers where you will review two, roughly, two of your peers' assignments, okay? And you'll fill a complete a form after reviewing and commenting on your peers assignments and you'll submit it to a link which is all explained in these links in these assignments and um, and you'll submit it following these links and following the instructions in these links and then you will um, go ahead and uh, and submit it using those links the final plan is after implementing all this feedback from your peers you'll submit a polished final report back to me at the end of the semester okay so these peer review exercises you will get um, points for as well as submitting um, and completing these so while this may not make a whole lot of sense the key here is to follow the instructions on blackboard all of these modules here, all of these days have these links. And if you just follow the links in the modules and follow the links in these foreign travel plans, and the other key is to follow this schedule up here in the announcements and also in your syllabus. If you follow and adhere to these deadlines, then you'll be fine. Okay, so that's the key is just following the schedule and following the links and the instructions. It's all spelled out in all these different links. All the information is there. You just have to adhere to those deadlines. The other uh, assignment that I did not mention is the cultural cuisine presentation, which is all spelled out right here. Essentially, it is to go eat some interesting food and then to blog about it.
And that is the time that we have for this clip.